Hi, Carl here for Pro VTV, and today we're taking a look at this tiny little V-Lock battery from Swit. This is their PBM98S. The M, of course, stands for Mini. This is a tiny little V-Lock. If you're used to working with V-Lock batteries at all, you'll know how much smaller this is. But I've got some others on my on the desk here for perspective compared to this very ordinary sized one here. Like, it is just so much smaller, even compared to Switz other PB batteries, which are their cinema range of batteries, like this PBS98S. It, these are already quite compact, and this is just so much smaller and lighter. And that is gonna make a huge difference to you when working with V-Lock batteries. And of course, the size is the main thing here, but you're not sacrificing performance at all. You get everything here you would expect from a standard V-Lock battery. It's a 98 watt hour capacity, so it's safe for travel. It's got a battery meter reading on the side so that you know how much battery is remaining. It's got a DTAP port on the top, a USB port on the side, and an eight amp power draw. So everything that you would expect and that you need from a professional battery source, but just shrunk down into this much, much smaller body. Because it is so much smaller. It's only 910 grams, 10 centimeters tall, seven and a half centimeters wide, and five centimeters thick. If you want to, you really can put one of these in your pocket. So the main design challenge that Swit of course had to overcome when building this battery was how to take a battery that's normally this size and shrink it all down into this size. Take that design and just make everything smaller because the battery cells themselves have got to stay relatively the same size. So that just means you've got less room for all the other parts. And inside a battery like this is relatively simple. There's a control board, there's battery cells themselves, and then there's the wiring and the soldering that connects all of that together. And so if the battery cells have to be the same size, that just leaves you less space for the control board and for the wiring and soldering. And if those wires and solderings cross, if they touch, they can short circuit and lead to a failure of the battery. So if you just take the exact same design that you're used to in batteries this size and just try and cram it all into a body that size, you're gonna to lead to problems. The internal design of this battery is just so much cleaner and simpler than some of the batteries from competitors that we've seen inside. And to show this off, Swid have made this transparent version of the battery. It's got a completely see-through plastic enclosure so that you can really see and appreciate just how simple and minimal the internal design of the battery is. And that is so important because the last thing you want on a professional battery like this is it failing and giving up on you. So I guess the big question is why do you need a V-Lock battery that's this much smaller and this much lighter? Now, I'm sure if most of you are used to using V-Lock batteries, you can answer that question without any help from me. If you're used to using these batteries, you'll know that you normally need a decent amount of them to get through a proper shoot if you're using lots of lights and big professional cameras and things like that, monitors and anything that uses batteries like this tends to be fairly power hungry, so you need a decent amount of batteries. And a case full of a decent amount of batteries of these weighs a decent amount. So any amount of storage space saving and weight saving is a big deal on any shoot, let alone if you're traveling from location to location to location, or if you're traveling internationally, you've got to get on a plane. I mean, this is 98 watt hour, so this is completely flight safe for most international airlines as well. So. This smaller battery is just gonna make your life so much easier on pretty much any shoot out there in terms of traveling with the battery. And that's not to mention the, the benefits of having a smaller battery if you're using it on a handheld rig at all. If you're using it on a camera which you've got to carry from place to place or use on your shoulder or use on a gimbal, or if you're using it on a monitor which a director's got to carry around with them, a smaller, lighter battery like this is going to be so welcomed by those camera operators and that director that's got to hold these things. So I think a smaller VLOC battery like this is incredibly important and welcome. So let me know, do you think there's a space for this in you and your workflow? Is this going to make a difference to your work? Let me know down in the comment section down below. And if you want to buy one of these for yourself, just head over to the Pro-V website using the links in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.